Yeah, I'm here. You're so pretty. Nala's breakfast. So we have her kibble, which has all her required nutrients. But then we add the rice, the broccoli, and the banana. So she actually eats her kibble. Tell me your dog's spoiled without telling me your dog's spoiled. Are you enjoying your breakfast? I have nothing left. It's in your bowl. It's in your bowl. Come on. Don't be picky. Good morning. I have the day off work. I'm yeah. so excited. And it's also a bank holiday Monday, so I'm off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. One day of annual leave for four days off. Yes, please. I just have a few little bits that I want to do today. I need to go to town. I kind of want to get some new pieces of makeup, but I'm not sure what's available. I'm available. And I want to get some clothes for my friend's baby because I got her clothes. I well, I got him clothes in December, but it's now May. No, it's April, nearly May. And I haven't seen her, so I'm going to try and return those clothes. I don't know if they will. If they won't, that's fine. They won't go to waste. I'll just get something else instead. But if uh, I, might, I might see if they can swap and get something bigger. Just because babies grow so fast, lads. They grow so freaking fast. So I'm going to do a little bit of the makeup. Just a little bit. And I want to, I have, I'd say about 30, 30 books downstairs that I'm donating to St. Vincent de Paul's. St. Vincent de Paul. So I need to bring them down. So I'm going to drive down there first. Drop them off. Then I'm going to go into town. Oh, yummy. That stuff is so hydrating. My goodness. Shadow Tilbury Magic Cream. That is very hydrating. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Anyways, I have to collect a parcel as well. I got, um, I ordered some stuff from Elsie and Fred, which I'm very excited to get. A lot of them are going to be my, actually no, all of them are my festival outfits. So I'm going to show you what I get, <clears throat> what I got. And I think I might go to the gym this evening. Because I was like, I said that I would go when I wake up, when I woke up. Sorry, I felt something on my face. Yeah, I said I'd go when I, when I woke up, but um, no. That didn't happen. I was just like, no, I'm feeling lazy, sore. I didn't go to the gym. But I also like don't like going to the gym just because I said I would go. Do you know that sort of way? Like I want to go to the gym when I actually feel like I have the energy to go and that it'll be beneficial for me to go. Because if I go to the gym when I'm actually not physically able, like it's, it's pointless for me. I know like sometimes you do end up going and then you get real energized, but like, I just have to be careful with my body. Do you know that sort of way? I just can't push it. And if I'm tired, I'm just like, no, I'm just gonna stay in bed. And that's what I did. Sorry, my skin is looking so good. Nothing like a bit of hydrated skin. You can't bait it. You just can't bait it. Okay, I'm gonna do my makeup off camera, so I don't waste loads of time just shy talking. Um, and I will come back when it's all done. Okay, I am ready. Tiny bit of the old makeup, only very, very, very minimal, you might say. My little daisy earrings. My favorite jumper of all times from Spice Vintage. I'm gonna go bring all those books down to the charity shop. I don't know how I'm gonna lift in 30 or 40 books. Gonna need a lot of bags. But I'm gonna go do that, and then I think I'm just gonna go drive straight to town and park in there even though it's gonna cost me like fucking a million euro to park but sure look okay let's go we're actually not doing too bad i got them in like two i thought it was going to be like three or four bags yeah i'm happy with that that was literally so easy i walked in i was like do you take book donations even though i had already rang up the other day being like do you take book donations they were like yeah i just didn't know what to say and then they was like yeah leave them there and that was it i was in and out i'd say within a couple of seconds I was like, okay, I love this. It's actually a nice little shop in there as well. Some cool little bits. Uh, so it's the St. Vincent in, ooh, in Colester. It's small now, but there's some nice little bits. Some nice little bits if you're looking. Uh, so now we need to figure out how to get to town from here. I say figure out, but like I just, you know, all I have to do is put it into Google Maps, but like I've no idea the route. So let's go do that. 
so I'm back from town. I'll show you what I got in a second. I just want to show you what I got in Marks and Spencer's food wise. Um, I always get, they're like three for 12 euro and they're like little pots. But I always get the olives which has garlic and jalapenos in it, marinated artichoke and turmeric cauliflower. So good. And then I always get a roll. And then I get olive oil and salt and dip it in. I'll show you in a sec. This is the artichoke, the cauliflower, the olives, my bread. So I'm just going to get some olive oil and salt. It's so good. Olive oil, salt. So good. Mmm. Like, look. The olives have little pieces of garlic in them. So good. Look at this artichoke. It's the best artichoke or marinated artichoke I've had. You can get it in Tesco and stuff for cheaper, but the one in Marks and Spencer's is so good. Mm. Somebody's a little on the edge because we had to get all the fire alarms kind of reset slash checked out and they have to test them she shits herself she shits herself which is fair enough they're very loud okay so i'm going to show you the little bits i got in town and also i got two other things in the post this week that i want to show you okay so i'm just going to show you the stuff that i got for myself i got this shampoo which i get in super drug and it's so good for your curdles it's one of those and I also do get the conditioner but I just I had the conditioner so I didn't need to buy it but the shampoo and the conditioner are they actually make your hair feel soft if that makes sense like a lot of the curly shampoos and conditioners your hair comes out still feeling like straw so this is very moisturizing I very much approve I mainly went into Superdrug to get one of these Garnier Moisturizers. Oh, for very dry skin. I didn't even read that. Unreal. I just got it because I liked the smell of it. It's like cocoa and ceramide. Am I pronouncing that right? Um, so Garnier are now cruelty free and vegan. I think they have been for a little while, but I remember they had, I know they still do have their hair masks. I actually, I can't remember what products it was, but I really wanted to buy them. But I was like, at the time they weren't vegan and cruelty free, something like that. Um, but now they're fully vegan and cruelty free, so, oh my god, it's so good. I'm re very, very, very excited to try it. And I've seen it on Sophia and Chintia's, uh, their videos. They get sponsored by Garnier quite a bit. Oh my god, that's phenomenal. Oh my god, that's so soft. Anyways, they were talking about them in their videos, and then Eve went out and got one. I think she got the aloe vera one. This is so soft. Holy ferric. I'm very, very, very impressed with that. Because it's also, it's so nice to be able to get something in like a drugstore that is very good and is cruelty free and vegan. Oh my God, I actually can't get over this. Because I a lot of the time I would go to the body shop. No, not the body shop, Lush. And I love the charity pot. I love it very, very much. So it's, I think it's like 20 euro, which isn't bad for a moisturizer, but I think this was 12. So it does make all the difference. And there seems to be way more in this. Now, Garnier is a much bigger company, so they probably are able to charge things, make things cheaper. But I'm so impressed with that. Anyway, so I really wanted to try one. I didn't want to get the same flavor or same scent as Eve. So, I got a different one and I'm very happy with my choice. That's so soft. And it doesn't feel sticky around. So 10 out of 10 Garnier. I am very impressed. I wanted to get those um those tanning drops that they have as well. But they were so they were 21 euro and I was like, no, I need to just get what I've come in for. Because I have done a bit of clothes shopping recently. I got I, I was shopping in Elsie and Fred and Gonda. Anyways, I'm rambling. I got an eyelash curler, which I'm very excited for. My eyelash curler, I think I have it, how old am I? I'd say I have that over 10 years. 
and when I curl my eyelashes, some of them go that way, some of them go that way, some of them go up, and then some just don't curl at all. So I think the little sponge thing in it is fucked, which I could actually have just gotten a sponge thing now that I think about it. Did not think of that. So I hope I get a few of the sponge things in this. And it's gas because this is like suitable for vegans. I don't know what would be in metal that isn't suitable for vegans, but good to know. And then, what about a beauty sponge? Oh, I did. <laughs> I thought that was the receipt. Uh, I just got a little... Uh, what are they called? Beauty blender. Blending sponge. I just got the Super Drug brand. I think it was only like 150. And all the Super Drug stuff is cruelty free and vegan, which is unreal. Because I really, they had some, um, <clears throat> some like mini skin set thingies. And like there was like moisturizers, toners, cleansing stuff. And I really wanted to get it. And it was good value. Like, and they were just like the mini ones. So I love getting mini things because it means you can try it out before actually spending like fucking, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 euro on something. And then also, if you don't like it, at least you haven't spent that much money on it. But, and it was only 12 euro for the three small ones, but I was like, no, I need to watch my money. So I didn't get anything else. And super drug. Then for my friend's baby. So this is what I was mainly going into town to get, but I got three pairs of trousers, which are so cute. Love the colours as well. So I got six, six to nine months because he's five months and he looks big in the photos. So, it, and if they don't fit him now, they will eventually fit him. So I thought they were adorable. And then I got three little t-shirts, which they can be mixed, mixed and matched with the trousers. So a little stripy one, a little blue one with animals on it, and then another kind of navy bluey one. So I thought they were so cute. When I do be like looking at kids clothes, I'm like, it's so adorable. But also like, how do we, like, how, how do they fit into that? How is there something so small on the earth? And like, how were we all that one size? Do you know? Just madness. Coconut latte, no doubt. So I got these loop earplugs. You may have seen, oh. Oh, I didn't bring them down. Oh, they're upstairs. But anyways. You, you've probably seen ads for them on Instagram, which did kind of lure me in. But I also did see other people like just being on their pages advertising them. So they're noise counselling. They're noise cancelling earplugs, and there's like different types of ones. So some, it's just kind of making the sounds around you lower. So they say it's not meant to change your voice, but the ones I have defo change your voice. Like, you can tell that there's something in your ear. Do you know that sort of way? Obviously, you can feel it, but, like, your your voice does sound differently. Now, unless there's a different one, but I think mine was meant to be... It doesn't change your voice. But then there's, like, some ones which are, like, more appropriate for, like, a festival. I, I still think the ones I have would be very good for a festival. And then there's other ones which are completely, like can't hear anything so like they'd be good if you're studying or something like that yeah i'm very excited to start wearing these when i'm out because i'm, I'm just sensitive to sound i'm ex an extremely jumpy person and if there's a lot of noise going on i can't concentrate i just i'm, I'm so overwhelmed i don't know what i'm doing so yeah i'm gonna just test it out and see how they go because like i was wearing them in the house just to test them out but it does, I think it's just gonna get a little while to get used to, but like it's the sensitivity to noise that I have is just so irritating and like I'm so jumpy. So like it, this, I'm constantly getting a fright and it's not, it's not that loud. Like no one else around me is getting a fright, do you know? So yeah, I don't know. Like I, I definitely want to get tested for ADHD because it is in my family and I am very similar to the people that have ADHD in my family Oh, <sighs> anyways enough about me But even if those loop earplugs are too quiet For like interacting with people and how my voice sounds I'll defo bring them to a festival. Oh my god Because like when I went out in Brighton it was unbearably loud for me like it was horrendous now They did set they did they did sell earplugs behind the bar which I had to put in, but like if they didn't have them, I probably wouldn't have lasted. Like it was just, for me, it was so sore. And I just, I can't concentrate when something is that loud. Anyways, on to the next thing. I got Sophie Hannah's book. 
I ordered this, oh, I can't remember, whenever it first was on pre-sale. I think it might have been at the beginning of this year, at some point. And it was finally released, if that's the right word. Uh, what, yesterday, maybe the day before. So I had pre-ordered it off Amazon. I'm very excited. So there's loads of information and tips on makeup, makeup brushes, techniques how to do like a smoky eye, gradient eye makeup, lips, all stuff on like Halloween makeup. Then she has a section on hair, which let's be honest, she has unreal hair tutorials up and she's always changing up her hair. How to do rainbow hair, hair styling. And then I think the last section then is, oh, she has stuff on wigs, very good. Last section is probably fashion, is it? Clothing. So like she talks about different prints, colors, layering, occasions, weddings, summer holidays. So I'm very excited to start reading this. I actually read like two pages, the first two pages and it's all about different makeup brushes and I was like, I had no idea. Now, I will say I'm not great at makeup. So for me, so far it's been very informative. But if you know a lot about makeup and different brushes and what they do and yeah, it, I don't know, it might not be as informative, but for someone like myself, very informative. Anyways, that's everything that I got in town. I'm waiting on the delivery man to tell me when my Elsie and Fred package is ready to be collected. just so cute it is sweltering in my car it's 18 degrees lads it's 18 degrees and it feels like it kind of doesn't know it doesn't feel like 18 degrees okay got myself a little matcha tumdale i have to say this is probably the best matcha that i've gotten in ireland mmm that's delicious. I got two pumps of vanilla in it as well. Um, because I think it's a little bit bitter without a syrup, but like if you just say a vanilla matcha, they just overload it with syrup, so I can't do that. Also, look at my gruig. I have loads of fake hair at home, and I was just like, I wanted to start like I don't know, practicing a few hair cells, even though I'm getting the mullet on Sunday. So may not, you know, I might be limited to what I can do with my growing, but like, even if I have like long at the back and short side, I can still do like even like pigtails with extensions, you know? Anyways, got Banshee Bones because they're unreal and they're vegan. And I collected my parcel, so I will do a little haul. I don't know if I'm going to show you everything because I want to keep some stuff for festivals. So you might not get to see everything, but sorry, moment of silence for the growing. Moment of silence for the Gruig. Okay. Let us see what is in the parcel. What's in the parcel? Oh. <laughs> so I did get two of the hats. You know, the blue one that I got from my last vlog that my sister so kindly got me for my birthday. Well, Tashi on show. Um, I got the Arash to Hatha. And I got it in pink. Now, a good few of the things I got were on sale. Like the, the, the orange hat was a tenner. The pink one was 20, but it, they were meant to be 30 mm. pounds. So, bargain. That's actually a stunning. Ooh, when it all comes down. Niall Horan has a new song yet. Oh god. <laughs> I was just looking to it in the car. Alright. Oh, <laughs> so unlike you. So unlike me. Like something like that, wouldn't it? No, it was just they were going, the, the presenters yeah. were going on and on and on. I like that a I lot. I like it a lot. So that is That's the skirt? Yeah, it's too wide yeah. to be a top. 
Yes, I'm too loose. Yeah. Yes, that's the skirt. Now it is sheer, like I thought it would be. Gotta get some panties. So yeah, I'm, gotta get some pantyhose. No, so pantyhose and tights. Oh. Panties, you just want I just want to get some, some I just need panties. to get some panties. Well, I could get some white ones. Yeah. White would also work. Yeah, but it might look like I'm trying to disguise like it. You're actually wearing white underwear, whereas if you wear black, black. it looks like I'm supposed, you're supposed to, be. to be wearing black. Yeah, yeah. So then. Okay. Oh, yeah, I know. I, oh, yeah, I love this. Okay, it's like a, <laughs> it's halter, a halter top. top, but this one isn't sheer. So. Oh, very good. Yeah. I like it a lot. <laughs> But I thought I got. I thought. I thought I got a pretty stuff. I thought I got like a long sheer thing. Let me just have a little look here. Let me just. Let me just. Maxi cover up. Yeah. Oh. It's very rare that you wouldn't get something. Yeah. Well, I'll just check it's not in any of these ones. So I yeah. got these. They're so cool. Now these are kind of sheer as well. I can just wear no ninnies. Yeah, but you might see your fanny then. You might see your fanny then. You see our crack. Your crack, so they're nice. I've got this dress. That's gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous. Uh, and then, I then proceeded to get a two piece, which is these trousers, which are actual trousers. They're defo not sheer, which are very cool. And I got a matching top for it, so that would be, that would be a full outfit. Oh, so it's like a tube top. Cool. Very good. I hope they fit. I hope they fit. These are gorgeous. There's a bit of stretch in them as well. Bit of stretch in them. Hmm. I'm a bit annoyed. I'm a bit annoyed. I'm gonna have to get back to them. I'm gonna have to pay customs again. To the gym, gym, gym. Put my hair in these little space buns because I didn't want to take them out. And I'm going to the gym and they feel really secure. So we'll see how it goes. I'm home from the gym, I feel good. So I did 10 minutes on the treadmill and then I did weights. And I actually feel really good after doing the weights because sometimes I just do the weights that are on the machine and they are good and I do enjoy doing them but I feel like when I actually have when I'm doing weights myself like without the machines and actual just physical weights it's I can definitely feel my muscles are more engaged slash they're getting tired quicker do you know that sort of way like maybe it's just tougher thoroughly enjoy it and you know I have to look after the muscles with the L multiple sclerosis and all so, uh, and my grey wig didn't budge, did not budge. So anyways, we're making a tofu pepper pepper dish, which I've made plenty of times before. So I'm gonna go shower, shower, and then eat some dinner. So this is the tofu dish. We usually have it with broccoli, but it's just tofu, onion, pepper, green pepper, rice, and it just has loads and loads and loads of black pepper in it and other spices, but it's mainly black pepper and it is delicioso. I suppose, Nala, I'll just have to sit over there, seeing as you, you took my seat. Is, is that what the plan is? Sounds about right. Good job. <laughs> Not a butter on her. Uh oh. <laughs> the evil dad. Jesus, God, watch. Okay, so we're going to cinema tomorrow watch, to watch the Evil Dead Rising. So now we're watching the Evil Dead. Evil Dead Rises. Rises. Oh so scared already. So I'm a little bit afraid, guys. Oh. Hello. <laughs>
Good morning, happy Saturday. I have gotten, whoa, blocking the camera. I have gotten, I have dropped my bank card, yay. Um, oh, fuck, no, I am a devil for this. I can feel it. Oh, hold on, okay, got it. That was so scary. I'm a devil for dropping things down the side of the car. An absolute devil. We are, I got, yeah, I got coconut ice lattes, lads. It's warm enough, warm enough for ice lattes. Delicious, delicious. Anyways, I'm going to get a bread roll because we're going to have the same lunch as we did yesterday, but we've no bread roll. So we need to go source that. And then we have to bring Nala to the vet because she has to get her side of point injection. And then gonna go for food in the cinema today. So stay tuned. Sorry, look at the size of this pan au chocolat. And it's vegan odds, but like, it's massive. It's like, hold on, let me show you it against my face. That's a big pan au chocolat. That's the face of a baby. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> so good. You're not allowed pan au chocolat. Can I have a kiss? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I think you're only giving that to me so you will get some pan au chocolat. You're so pretty, aren't you? Nala was the best girl at the vet. So proud of her. And it was nice and quiet. Sometimes when you go down there, it's so busy. Anyways, sun is shining, lads. Let me show you. Look at that. Neil Ain Scommel Suspair. I guess Tom Green and Ictatnov. Been out catching that vitamin D, you know, for the L multiple sclerosis. Also, who remembers these? I like these very much. And do you know what they remind me of? Remember those ice gems? And they had like a biscuit base. They were literally tiny. They had like a little biscuit base, and then the top was just like a little squidge of icing. That's what these taste like. Mmm. And me and Eve were sitting on the bench in the garden and Nala came over and just puts her paw up on the bench because she wanted to sit with us. So sad. So now Eve's in Nala's bed with her. Let me show you. Were you the best girl at the vets? And in the car? And now you're sitting in the shade because you were too warm? Yeah, you're so good. So it was proper pissing down, but it's also like super sunny. Like look at that rainbow. So vibrant, sorry, that tree is actually ruining it. There's another one on top of it. I don't know if the camera's capturing it. I'll try insert like a little arrow for where I'm pointing at. Well, how nice is that rainbow? Woo! We got the good, 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 two original glaze and then some sort of glaze thing for Megan. That's white. Oh, so it's the burger. So it's the burger. Yeah. I was like, that's different. 100% that's what yeah. it is. Delicioso. I just said, pick this up out of those. I don't know what I found. I thought there might have been someone here. Oh, fucking stinks, lads. Not me winning the race. <laughs> You're such a disease, Kevin. Happy Sunday! So, it's Mullet Day, lads. So I have to go in with my hair styled the way I normally would, but like with light products. So, I hope it's okay. hope I don't put too much product in it. But I also hope that it's styled in an okay way that we can Cut the mullet in easily, if that makes sense. Anyways, going in for 12 o'clock. So I'm gonna have some breakfast now. Breakfast. But now they always have peanut butter and toast. We ain't got no toast. Well, we've got white toast, but we always use a special type of toast in the mornings. It's like a, a high protein bread and it has, it's just very filling and there's loads of like seeds in it and stuff. So now we don't have that bread. So we gotta have some parashta. 
and we have our coconut lettuce. Okay, I'm ready. Not as curly as it normally is, because I don't have that much gel in it. Still, still looking badass. Okay, one final look. One final look. Da, 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 da. Na, 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 na. Da, da, da. And this is this is the O O T D O O T D outfit of the day. O O T D. Yeah. Uh, this is actually a dress, and I've got a little pink top over it. August my umbro top. Them ducks. Looking hella cute. Looking hella cute. Can you deal? I look so good. So much texture, as the hairdressers say. My little long bits at the sides, real short on top, loads of fringe, long at the back. Perfection. Oh my god. It looks so good. From another angle. Oh my god, it looks so good. And so much work goes into cutting a mullet. Like, I'd say she used about three different types of scissors, maybe even four. Different types of razor kind of blade thingies. Like, it took ages. Well, not ages, but like, it takes time. It's not a straightforward thing to do. I love it so much. <laughs> Waffles, plant-based chicken, maple, and I also got this little uh, croissant, and it has butter and jam in it. Thank you, Driffy. <laughs> we have the infamous roast dinner. Got potato potatoes, broccoli peas, stuff in gravy, and the I think it's thanks plant. Yeah. Thanks plant roast. <gasps> Very G excited. And we're gonna watch some <coughs> Netflix. The flicks of net. We are going to watch Hell House. Dun dun dun. LLC. Hell House Hell LLC. Hell House Hell LLC. Are you gonna watch the horror? No, she's too young. You're gonna fall asleep. Aren't you? Yeah. Aren't you glad you're gonna fall asleep? 